Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're going to be building something and we're going to be building a Synad meter. So this circuit diagram came from the uh, Noxyman channel, he provided a diagram, he provided two diagrams and um, yeah they were um, something to be desired unfortunately so I had to do a little bit of messing about but I think I've got it. So anyway, let's start the building. So I've had some PCBs made. I've made a schematic. So let's build the power supply part. So I've got 12 volts in. 10 volts across the Zener, which it should be. So there's our 10 volt supply. Now also, we're looking for, let's make sure it's at the chip in the correct place, which it is, pin 4. And we're going to be checking the minus voltage, which isn't actually a minus voltage, it's just potential divided down to 5 volts. But it should provide enough swing for the op amps. So I'm going to build this bit by bit, because I don't know if this circuit actually works. So if we build it bit by bit, we can actually trace our steps. So, first part, let's get the first part of this op amp um, soldered in and actually test whether the input actually works. So before I put the chip in place, there's the input to pin 3 of the op amp, and it's working nicely. So we've got the op, op amp in place. Now we need to check on pin 1 for the output. And sure enough, Input matches the output quite nicely. So top trace is always going to be input, bottom trace is going to be what I'm testing, just for reference. So this is actually part of the AGC, or Automatic Gain Control Circuit. So we've got two parts of the op-amp, transistor and effect, that feed back onto it and keep the gain at a constant level. So... I've built the rest of that up, so that's the AGC side connected up. And we've got the scope on the output of the second op-amp, which should be pin 7. But I've actually put it in a capacitor pole because I've not got a cap there. So, input top scale, output bottom scale. And as you can see, the input goes massive and the output stays the same. But we are getting a weird little artifact on there. I wonder if that's that must be something to do with the AGC circuit. Because it only seems to happen after we've built this AGC. But the AGC is actually working. Anybody knows what that is? Leave a comment. Maybe we can get rid of it. Who knows? But AGC circuit seems to be working nicely. It does bounce a little bit if you shift the if you shift the level too quickly, but if you move the level in a uniform, the level stays the same on the output. Excellent. So now we need to build the one kilohertz filter. So this will filter out the one K signal and pass it through. Or should we say detect the one K signal? So we've got it on the output. Of the capacitor before it goes to the rectifier side let's have a look on the scope so input is our top trace output is our bottom trace so we've got that weird weird agc action going on again so if we adjust the two potentiometers we can start to flatten out the signal at the bottom which we have to bring it down to a minimum level and there it actually works okay excellent so that those two potentiometers we need to bring the signal level down to or should we say the signal down to as minimum as possible okay those spikes have definitely got to be something to do with the AGC. 
Anyway, last part of the circuit, this is the rectifier circuit. So this will then turn that signal into a voltage that can be displayed on whichever means you wish to display it. So we're going to populate those parts. There, so that's the whole board populated. Now I didn't have any 22 nan capacitors, so I've had to put... No, sorry, 220 nan capacitors, so I've had to put 22s in. But I've got some on order. Okay, let's give it a try. So this is using my signal generator, which has got a 1K, 2K and 3K tone on it. And it's coming out the back of a radio. Which I thought would be the best way to do it for now, seeing I don't have a accurate signal generator, but I've got one coming. So that's the 1K, 2K and 3K signals. So we've got a meter hooked up. See my signal generator there is set to 2K. So that's a 2K audio tone, 3K down to 1K. So on the 2K audio tone, we have a deflection of the meter. This is just a scrap meter I had lying around. But if you put it onto 1K, signal drops nicely. Should we say the meter drops nicely? Now we just need to null those points down. Now we're not going to get it completely flat due to the op amp, but as Noxyman did say, for a low noise amp, it does cost like 15, 20 pounds. So I think there's something we can do to get the meter deflection a bit better. But when we put it on the 1K, it does what it's supposed to do. So the next thing to do is to bring the signal level, the dB level down, going into the radio and see exactly what happens. And sure enough, the meter starts to rise as the dB level um, decreases going into the radio. So excellent. It's working. Anyway, that's it for part one of this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Facebook group, and we'll see you in the next video.